Look at Mr. Zombie and Mr. Creeper just taking damage. I love it. I love that you guys are oh, taking damage. Look, and it is draining. Look at that. Look at all those nines. Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back on the Revenge of the Sea Team server. Yeah. And once again, I just want to thank everybody out there who's watching for being able to help me hit my 100 subscriber mark. I am really, really excited about that. And because of that, I've got a lot of fun planned for today. Yes. Okay. So without further ado, let me get my armor back on and my gun because it just looks really funny when I go into a third person view and it's just sticking out of me. So I want to show you some work I got done while I was, you know, ah, that's too many, while I was away. Or in between episodes, I'd say, not really away, but whatever. Um, I need to go light some stuff up, so... Oopsie. It's not nighttime yet, so I might just run F7 mode. So, when we left off, I was working on my blood altar. Well, I, I got some done. Actually, I got quite a bit done. And I'm kind of liking it so far. So I'm going to put these little nooks around here. Oh, you know what? I don't want to put them there. Because when I, if I want to put these, I don't know how I feel about these <coughs> spruce hedges or just the hedges in general. It's from uh, Mr. Greyfish's furniture mod. But anyways, bleh, moving on. You can see it off in the distance. I got a lot of work done. A lot of work done. This is the new and improved blood altar. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the build. And there's a lot of red, but then again, it is blood magic, so red kind of makes sense. And if we go take a little look see doodle downstairs, um, so I'm going to change some of these stones out and stuff like that and make them a little prettier, but for right now. And then we've got this little room down here, which I absolutely love. And that's actually why I have the nooks right now. And I'll explain that dirt while I'm looking up at it. Uh, the next level of uh, altar they're gonna go all the uh the runes are gonna be going where this dirt is right here and then there's a beacon that goes up above this dirt right here so yeah that is why that is there i know it looks really weird right now but there is a reason why it's just dirt and nothing else so here's a problem i ran into and it's not a difficult problem because i thought back to something in evil craft and i figured i found a fix for it but i want to keep this area lit up pretty well right i, I want to keep it all you know nice and bright and shiny and stuff like that and you know why am i putting these all in the corner they're not supposed to all go in the corner let me check my f7 real quick so as you can see as i'm, as I'm lighting this up some of these blocks are unable to be spawned on right and i want to keep it pretty well lit down here because i want to be able to see what's going on and whatnot and that being said i had to figure out a way to actually light it all up and keep that area completely dark and you know it might be completely dark i can't quite tell but it just seemed like i was having issues where uh things weren't spawning at times and that was kind of annoying and i was like well hey here's an idea we've got um i don't know is that well lit enough i'm like i know i'm getting a little add right now but i'm trying to figure is that really well lit enough I don't know. Um, I see these corners are not able to spawn, but that's okay because I was thinking about putting some spawners in them anyways. But it looks like it actually is working. Like, red means they can spawn at any time, right? And there's just a few little blocks. I was going to put some obscure glass from Evilcraft. I remember that it doesn't let light shine through, but it still works like glass. But it seems like it's working okay. But, anyways. Oh, so check out these doors I made, right? So I busted out the... Uh, Melissa's door factory again and I put some of this edge glass that I had been making in there and I think they came out pretty freaking awesome now let me see if I can clear these guys out okay he's dead alright he's dead I'm trying to get these nooks inside so they do stop spawning right now those creepers really really annoy me I kept having so many issues with them 
There we go. So that's all lit up now. And now I just have to kill him. So I can clear it out. Because we gotta put a ritual in here. And let me see. Can I get you? Um Am I gonna be able to kill you guys? Hold on. Bat mode. Right. And I believe the thick and glass are mine. Yes. Right, 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 right. Watch this. Watch this. I just want to make sure the creepers don't blow. Ooh, I heard a sizzle. I don't like that. Hey, back off. Okay. The enemy won't bother me, so I'm okay with that. All right. So, the reason I need to clear this area out, which is why I was trying to light all this up, is they seem to be taking damage. I don't know why they take damage in here. If any of you guys know why, that would be awesome if you could tell me. Because I honestly don't know why some of the mobs take damage while they're in here. But they do. Whatever. I love these doors. They're so much fun. Uh, we were going to put a ritual in here that is called the Well of Suffering from Blood Magic. And what that's going to do is it's going to basically soak the life essence out of the creatures that spawn here on this uh, cursed earth or what is it called yeah cursed earth and that's going to help fill our altar because i want to get going on blood magic and well how else do you do it right all right so let's get this area lit up a little bit i like to hide these guys i love these nooks they're like the coolest little thing because they give out you know just a regular amount of light i'll just put it right there can i get it yeah and you're there. Don't get that corner, really. Can I put you up in the glass? Can I put you right up there? Oh, uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. And I'll just fly around and do this real quick. So anyways, like I was saying, um, I want to get going on the blood magic. And about the only way to really get going on the blood magic is to get that blood altar start filling up. So, I don't know... Oh. Come on, there we go. I don't know what you guys think about the build. I'm actually really curious as to what you guys think about it. Um, did I do good work or do I have some room for improvement? Well, there's always room for improvement, but I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I'm really interested in your guys' opinions. Um, uh, what just happened there? Come on, there we go. All right, yellow. There we go. I think it came out pretty good myself. I, I actually like the look of it. I've got some more work to do. Uh, I'll probably end up enclosing this entire thing. But I just, I don't know, I kind of like the look of it. Whoa. Skeleton shoot me? Yeah, of course. Alright, so I think this is all lit up inside now, which is a good thing. Keep the mobbies out. But I kept it open and like free flowing. So I didn't want it to be completely closed off. Oh, how are you guys getting in here? You guys jumping over edges? What the fricky frack? Anyway, uh, we're going to get that ritual going today. Hey, back off. Right? And I think I have everything I pretty much need in here. It's freaking raining on me and stuff like that. Um, I know I'm going to need some of those because I want to make the ritual diviner. Let me see if I can look up the, the recipe for that real quick. Ritual diviner. Um... Okay, I can't make the dawn runes, but I need the dusk runes. Okay, so I'm going to need two demonic slates, two of these black inscription tools, and the regular diviner. So I'm going to need four diamonds, an emerald, and the other four. Okay, what were the recipes for the other four? Lapis block. Uh, okay, magma cream, easy. Is that obsidian? Obsidian's easy. And a gas here. Okay, so we can go get those materials, and we can get going on this diviner. <coughs> And I should have enough blood in my, uh, myself. I've been donating blood throughout constantly and, uh, letting it soak. Oh, you know what I probably should make? I should probably make a divination tool. I haven't made one of those. That would be really, really helpful. Well, I made one a long time ago, but it, it got sucked into my anomaly over there. So, um, one sec. There we go. What am I looking for? I am looking for obsidian. And I'm going to need, what, four diamonds? And an emerald? <laughs> I'm down to one. i got to go find some. 
Uh, what else did I need? What else did I need? Uh, diviner. Uh, let's see. Obsi oh, lapis. I need lapis. Oh, right there. And what was that one? That's lapis. Oh, yeah, magma cream. Um, I know I've got a blaze rod out there, so I'm going to need a slime ball. So grab you real quick. And that'll be my four inscribers. One, two. No, that's all probably the same thing. One, two. Oh, gas tier. That's what I need. Gas tier. There we go. And then, what was the recipe for this one? Blocks of coal. Well, that's easy. I've got over a thousand coal. That's freaking awesome. And I'm going to need 18 of them. That's a lot of coal. I am not in short supply there. There we go. Blocks of coal. Got those. Uh, that one's out there. Okay, cool. So we can go get these up and going. Whoa, come on now. And there's one other thing I want to do. Um, I want to go check on the quarry in the uh, Deep Dark World. And I want to try a new way to power it. Uh, so I got a message here on uh, uh, YouTube on like my last episode or whatever. Uh, telling me about this nuke battery. I had seen it. I just never really looked into it. How did I miss that block? <sighs> so frustrating. Um, about the nuke battery. And so I looked into it a little bit and basically it gives you 1 billion RF and it outputs at like, I think it was like 20 RF per tick or something like that. So it doesn't have a huge output, but it's got a lot of power. That'd be a great thing just to throw down the quarry so it keeps going. We'll see how that goes. So we might check on that. Well, well hello. Why are you popping up? Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. And I, forget, I don't know how much it takes for these, but I've got this thing full up, so there should be like 10,000 in there. So let's go ahead and throw you in. Yep, and cook you up. And we'll get all these guys cooked up. So much junk. I don't need string. I don't need rotten flesh. I don't need bones. I don't need an arrow. This guy's just going to bug me because it doesn't stack. Okay, there we go. So got you. Um, which one am I doing? Obsidian. We'll get you. So anyways, guys, while this is all happening, I just want to tell you how excited I am. I really, really, I, dude, I am so jazzed. Like, when I, I was, like, kind of counting down um, until I got that uh, 100 subscriber. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot when a lot of these YouTubers out there are, like, up in the 2 millions or 10 millions and stuff like that. To only get 100. But it is a, it's a start. And... You know, the fact that there's actually people out there who enjoy kind of watching what we're doing here and stuff, and it, it, it really pumps me up and motivates me to do a lot more and, you know, try to do other fun stuff. So I really, really do appreciate it. And I, I hope that you guys truly are enjoying it because I'm really enjoying playing this right now. And <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's that's the long and short of it is I really am. You know what? I could just do this, couldn't I? Um, green, blue, red, dark blue. Okay. Green, blue, dark blue, red? Yes, okay. And then I gotta make, uh, I got some stone over here. Okay, one, two. And these guys are gonna soak up for a while, so I think this might take a minute longer than I really wanna spend. Let's see. Oh, the ritual diviner, or the, how do I make that? It was like glass and stuff like that. Uh, divination sigil, that's what I need to make. A blank slate with my thing and some glass. All right, so. No, I'm going to grab you, and I'm going to let you soak up now. And I'm going to donate a little more blood to the cause. I've got extra hearts now, so it's awesome. Whew, getting close. Okay, cool. That's a lot of blood, but it's filled. Okay, hopefully that one gets to the next level while I'm gone, because I need to go grab some glass, which I made tons of in the last episode, because I needed to make all that thickened glass. And <clears throat> anyways, guys, yeah, going back to what I was saying, um, I really do appreciate, you know, the, the support you guys get. And, you know, I really, the only thing I could definitely ask any more of is if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. Um, I am, dude, I am all ears when it comes to, you know, stuff you want to check out because I mean, that's why we're doing this is to have fun and, you know, 
you know, enjoy the mod pack and enjoy, you know, different games and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously I play Minecraft probably the most, but I do enjoy doing other stuff. And if there's other stuff you want to see, let me know. Also, while we're, you know, talking about it, I do plan on putting up a video within the next day or two. I want to do some type of giveaway uh, for, you know, those who have, you know, been watching and stuff like that and, you know, in, you know, getting into it with us or with me specifically. And uh, I want to do something special. So I want to do some type of giveaway. I'm not exactly sure what yet. I have something in mind, but I've got to find out if I'm able to do it or not. And so, I mean, that'll, that'll come. I will find out eventually. But uh, I'll, I'll let you know within the next couple of days. But I do really want to do some type of giveaway for you guys. Um, I mean, I think I've said it uh, quite a few times before. I mean, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I don't make, you know, basically any money on anything I'm doing here. That's why um, I have no, you know, uh, advertisements and stuff on my videos and whatnot. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're burning it out. You're burning out. All right, come on. I don't know if I can do the cheatsy doodle anymore because now I got the six hearts, so I don't know if it still works. No, see, it doesn't. Now that I'm a robot, I can't cheatsy doodle anymore. But I guess... Um, I don't want to kill myself. I'm like, I'm borderline here. What I might do is I might go ahead and uh, get this done off camera because I don't want to spend too much time trying to do it. And I'm going to have to get my health regen, which means I'm going to go recharge and stuff like that because I just realized that my battery is well. Oh, that was my health that was low, not my battery that was low. Um, but I might go do this off camera just to get them done and not spend 10 minutes here uh, soaking these things up with some blood. But we're definitely going to get this thing going today. So anyways, I'm going to recharge and then uh, go over there, get these sigils, or not these sigils, but these uh, slates done, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so we are back, and I've got my demonic slates, and I'm just curious, okay? I, I'm wondering, almost full, okay, who here noticed when I went to go make my divination sigil that I already had one in my inventory because I made one earlier, and I totally forgot that it was sitting there. And I had it in my notes of stuff I want to do in today's episode, and I still made a second one. So I'm curious as who saw it. Who saw that I made that silly, silly mistake? Well, anyways, we are making the last few parts we need. I believe, yep, there we go. Oh, thank you. And you. I think it's like 2000 for these, so there we go. Shouldn't be too much to fill back up and get you over here. Ooh, I can craft you up now, can't I? Yes, I can. You and you. You and you. And the diviner. Yes. Okay, so now we've got that. So now we've got enough to make the ritual, which I guess we could just start doing. Oh, no, I need to make the activation crystal, um, which is a lava crystal. And I'm going to need 10,000 essence. So... I'll use one of my divination sigils. Uh, we got 18, so I need 1,200. So that's what, six, six stabbies? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right? All right, we're now at 10. So I'll throw that bad boy in there. And I only need one divination sigil, so we'll put one away. And I'm going to throw all this stuff in here for right now. Oh, I did kill a legendary uh, uh, robot, and he had this legendary Omni tool. And I haven't even tested it out yet. I've actually had it for... Uh, I don't know, six or seven hours now. Well, I haven't been playing that long, but I got it a long time ago. And um, I'm not even sure what it does, but I think this like destroys blocks, so I don't want to shoot it in here. Ah, but we got you. All right, so now I'm going to need one of you. And I don't know how many I need, but I think two stacks is enough. It's quite a few you need, but I don't know exactly how many you need. And we are going to go start this bad boy up. Alright, so open you up. So I put the roof at the level it needs to be. And all we do is put this guy... Hey, where'd you go? Okay. Let's go into bat mode. I'm like jumping just to the maximum limit. And there we go. And then I just take this. 
And all you have to do is have the blocks in your inventory. So I've got 128 of them right there. And then you just right click. Now you're there. All right. It looks like it's clear. I see the sparkle still. Okay, there it goes. So apparently something was being blocked. Oh, it's that little light blue stone right there that wasn't able to go up. Oh, I could just, you know, knock that block out, but it's okay. Now we take our weak activation crystal and bingo, bingo. You feel a push, but you are too weak. Oh, how much life essence do I have? Oh my goodness. I need like another 15,000 life essence. Well, I got some of the tank, right? Or did I just use it all? I just used it all. Okay. Well, we've got a couple minutes here. Let's go ahead and put you in there. Grab my dagger real quick. Uh, I wonder. Did that give me any? I don't know. But I've got time and, you know, patience and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and get this guy filled up. This is not having to eat thing is kind of nice, I gotta admit. I'm kind of upset because I did spend so much time on my my farm and all my Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. But you know what? If I don't have to eat, that's totally cool with me. Okay, go, go. We got enough. Let's go. So we are going to go down here. We're going to take our little crystal here. And we're going to go. And we should get a really cool black circle. Yes, there it is. All right, so it is working now. Now all I got to do is take these up right here and they should start coming in hey hey you weren't supposed to get out of there but you can see he's taking damage he's taking damage because of the well of suffering they all should be taking damage oh look at him suffer look at him suffer look at mr zombie and mr creeper just taking damage i love it i love that you guys are taking damage and then you die eventually. But more of you will spawn. And more of you will take damage. And you guys just keep spawning. And now if I watch my life essence. Like you'll see it's going up little by little. And so it's going to constantly fill my life essence now. As long as my orb is in the uh, altar. Freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. And what I could do. <clears throat> is just create another altar. And uh just throw one of my orbs on it so this one would be like my functioning altar and i can use my orb for whenever i need it and stuff like that and i can throw my like apprentice blood orb or even my weak blood orb and just throw it in another altar and it'll collect the blood for me or constantly put it into my uh my my system so cool that is awesome i am so pumped up about that but now what i also want to do is i want to go ahead and check out this nuke battery right i i read about it and I saw that the crafting recipe wasn't too difficult. So I think we can do this. I think we can. So what was it? If I remember, it was like stone and uh, diamond and nuke. Nuke. Nuclear battery. There we go. Recipe is two pistons, redstone, diamond. Oh, that's block uranium. Wow. That's even cheaper than I thought it was. I got a ton of uranium that I never use. Cobble, cobble. Oh, this is so easy. Okay, so I'm going to need one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one of you, <coughs> two of you, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. And that's the redstone, that's that. Um, oh, a bucket of water. Really random, but okay. <clears throat> um, do I have any buckets? Yes, I have a bucket right there. Bucket of water. <clears throat> and I don't know if I have any of my uranium in here. Uranium. I've got a whole bunch of ore. So if anything fails, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. False fails. I can go make some real quick. But just throwing it in the redstone. But I think I do have some blocks out in the smeltery. <coughs> or, sorry, not the smeltery. Whatever you want to call this. But yeah, it's my smeltery. And let's see. Do I have any blocks of uranium in here? Nope, I just have more uranium ore. 
All right, so we are going to go smelt this stuff up, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fly. We're going to speed this process up. My, it's coming along. My little village here is coming along. I'm kind of liking it. There's things I want to change, and that I will change, but I'm kind of liking it. Is this one I can double? Nope, I can't double this one. But, oh, I don't need glass and stuff. Let's go. Wait, hold on. How? You don't have power. There's no way you don't have power. I've got, like, the endless power system here. What? What's going on here? What is going on here? What kind of nonsense are we dealing with? We know that I have power. I was about to say, we know I have power. But the uraniums don't cook. Interesting. How do I make this uranium block? How do I make this uranium block? How do I make those ingots? With pyrithium dust. Okay, I, I think I can do that. Sulfur, redstone, blaze powder, and pulverized coal. I need more blaze rods. Really? Really? Do I really need to go to the nether right now? To go get more blaze rods? Well, I'm going to go. I'm not going to make you guys, you know, watch this because it's going to take a second. And I'm going to go get these blaze rods. Alright guys, I want to tell you about the longest 45 minutes of my life. So, when I came through the portal, apparently... A creeper had at some point left the overworld and come and joined the zombie pigmen of the nether. And as I came through the portal, he was standing here waiting for me. And went kablooey. Okay, not a big deal, right? Until I realized my portal was turned off. And if you guys noticed, I left my flint and steel on the other side. So what? I have no flint and steel to get back. So, I'm thinking, okay, I can go find some gravel, and I can go find some iron ore, and I can make, you know, another flint and steel. 45 minutes later, I finally found some gravel, and I went and got my blaze rods too, don't get me wrong. But I went and found some gravel, I got my flint, and I couldn't find iron to save my life. Then I realized I had the two iron ingots in my inventory from having or wanting to make the uh the pistons but i did find out that natura has another furnace it's really simple it's recipe it's just you know uh the same as cobblestone but with nether brick so that was cool so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do all that stuff and we're gonna make the uranium and we're gonna make this nuclear battery and we're gonna call it quits because where in my world am i this is not my portal this is like the spawn village. What in the world? All right, so I'm gonna make my way home and then we will, we'll finish up. We'll be right back. All right guys, so we've made it back home. I need to grab myself another iron. You're telling me I don't, I don't have an iron ingot in here. I, today, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep right after this. I am literally leaning with my head on the microphone right now because I am so just frustrated. Oh my goodness, that was like the longest time ever. Okay. So we're going to go get this, but I'm excited. I'm excited because we're about to make the nuke battery and then we're going to go back down to the deep dark and we're going to power our quarry and maybe we've got some goodies down there because I haven't checked on it in whew, probably about a week or two. And so there's probably some goodies in there. Um... Let's see, you, 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 there we go, got the pistons, if I remember correct, I was like, oh, you know, I need more cobblestone, I need four more cobble, uh, one, two, three, four, and then also I need to break, break up these, and what was it, it was, oh, pulverized coal, yes, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to need nine of those, and then what was the rest of it? It was uh, pyrithium. Yeah, this stuff. Um, sulfur, I'm sure I got plenty of that. Oh, that gives me two per, so that's cool. So I only need, like, what, four batches of this. 
So I need some sulfur, redstone, and pulverized coal. Okay, I got the coal. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have some sulfur. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm just going to grab all of you for right now. I'm going to throw some stuff I don't need. I don't need the mine. I don't need the glass and the sand. Um, I don't need the nooks. The ritual stones i got to go put back in that box over there. I don't need the android leg right now. But I found out they have stats on them. Um, that's really cool. So we're going to play with those stats soon. But anyways... You, you, and you. We're going to go pulverize some coal. And now this episode was supposed to be like 25 minutes. It's now stretching past 30 again. So I'm probably thinking about doing some post-editing again to shrink it down. I promise you guys, I really, really do try to keep these like episodes like slow. So, oh, look at that. I got sulfur with it too. So I didn't even need to grab the sulfur. All right. There's three. There's four. Oh, I need to go grab some more redstone. That's good enough. That is good enough. As long as I have five. Do I have five of the pulverized? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Do, do, do. Close the door because something's going to walk in here and blow up, and I'm going to be upset. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is the nightly train going by my house right now. It's pretty obnoxious. Okay, there's ten of those. And then all I do is you. There we go. Now I've got nine of those. And I do you. And I got one of those. And finally, I can make my nuke battery. Okay. Bingo. B oh. Of course. There's always one more thing, right? Always one more. Fortunately, I have an endless water source right here. Oh, thank you. At least I remembered that. That's good. Okay. Nuke battery. Bam! All right. And we are going to take a trip to the deep dark. We're going to slap this boy next to our uh, generator. And we're going to see if everything is as it says it's supposed to be. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave you running. Okay. So, boop. Here we go. Bat form, go. Nuclear battery. I think it's awesome. Yeah, see, it didn't. Oh, it did some work over there, but it stopped short. I don't know if it's because this is full. Why is there a hole here? I don't remember digging anything up. Not to say I didn't, but I don't remember doing that. All right, so we're going to plop you down. Oh, look, and it is draining. Look at that. Look at all those nines. That is crazy. And I'm hoping it's charging, but I need to kill this skeleton first. Are you attracted to the nuclear battery? Okay, are you charging this now? Yes, it is. It is giving a little bit of charge, and it's getting drained by that. Um, anything cool? Anything cool? Uh, lots of ores and stuff, but no diamonds. I like diamonds. But that's just cranking away. This is all it's all cobble. Wow, that's a lot of cobble. Um I think I'm gonna have to bring a crafting table with me one of these days and sort all that out. This is my sleeping hole right here. Oh, there's a crafting table right there. So, well we've got the nuke battery, which I'm totally jazzed about. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to do. Nope, I got all that. Yeah, no, we've, we've, we've knocked out everything I wanted to do today. We've got the nuke battery, which is just going to power this thing for days. I do need to find... I need a... I don't know, a nullifier? Is there one of those? Maybe we'll do that next episode. I remember something they called like a nullifier. Ah, is that it right there? Yes, the nullifier. Really, really cheap and easy to make. It's a bucket of lava, invar, tin gears, and pneumatic... And you just pump stuff in, and it'll delete the cobblestone. That'd be cool, so my chests don't fill up. But right now, the chests are doing okay. So, until next time, guys, I am Slider Havoc, and this is the Revenge of the Sea Team server. And now, I'm going to start saying this, because you know what? There's been a lot of you really cool guys out there, and I want to keep, you know, keep you guys in, you know, engaged. So, uh, likes, comments, subscribe, you know, whatever you want to do. I want to hear from you guys. So, until next time, guys, I'm Slider, and I'm out of here. Peace.